to your itinerary as it's your turn out. Every Wednesday is from 7 to 7 30 p.m. in the evening. Two Wednesdays, not once in a month, or twice every Wednesday. The next request is active for movie eye from 7 to 7 30 p.m. Please do well to make it today. Call your friends, your family, your lovers, everyone that you know that yes, movie eye from coming today to join us every Wednesday from 7 to 7 30 p.m. To know and know what the hype is all about. Yes, the hype is here, and everything the hype is presented is about the gospel of our Lord Jesus. That is why I started with Princess that Hallelujah. Book Life is, is a platform that is meant to project, that is going to project gospel movies. Yeah, we are here to analyze, to dissect, to bisect. I'll be the one dropping my views and gospel movies because the hype. I'm going to see most of the movies and I'm pretty sure you might have seen them. But I'll drop my review and you can now call in to drop your own comment about it. Wow, isn't that interesting? Very, very interesting. All you just need to be a part of this is dial in the studio line and call in to drop your comment. Now don't tell me, hello Simika, what you said in that part is not right. I'm not right now. I feel I'm seeing this movie from this angle. I see that movie from that angle. Yes. That is what the first segment of Movie Hype is all about. Where we try drop my review, but then some of the Christian I have seen, and it might have seen. Drop my comment and call it. And the second segment of the program is where I drop in incoming, or should I say, upcoming latest. Incoming movies, but then the first quarter. Yes, I'll begin to drop movies that we all are anticipating, and you might not have even known that there's a movie coming out. With the title, I'll also be coming with the trailer of that movie. Trust me. Who are you that you watch the trailer of that movie? You'll not be able to watch that movie. No. Go see the trailer of those movies. I'm not talking about still movie now. I'm talking about interesting ones up to date. New movies that, that we are all at. I would love to teach us or talk to us about movie hypes and about written movies as a whole. Like I said when I started out, today's edition I meant to talk about the movie, give my review and also give you updates on the comments. So like I said, today's edition is like an introduction whereby I will just talk the next thing, the almost the real deal like I used to say. And this is what I want to say. We all know that as Christians the bible and we meditate on the word of god but trust me do you also know christian movies also helps to edify our souls and our mindset you don't know Tell me tell you. as a christian yes you go to church yes you have your quiet time you pray yes you read the bible and you do every all of the things as a child of god should do. but you, you are not watching or you don't even know of christian let's have everything today on this table as a you need to watch you need to watch a whole lot of ones I could remember there was this there was this strict box pop actually did and we were just asking people naturally and generally that okay mention one or two Christian movies that you've seen lately trust me out of five persons just two or one person could actually bonafide just mention one or two wow in, in a very in a Christendom environment, in a Christian environment, you haven't seen one or or, or any Christian movie in the last one. Have you seen any Christian movie this This month, yes, we are the 11th day in the month of October. Have you seen a Christian movie? If not, yeah, you need to have a look. You start seeing Christian movies. Enough of you seen movies, seen other movies. But please, do want to see Christian movies. In as much as you pray, in as much as you fast, in as much as you read the Bible, in as much as you do all of this, please do well to participate in watching gospel movies because they also edify our spirits. Because most of those gospel movies that we watch, most of the gospel movies we see and we watch, 
they get this inspiration from the Holy Spirit. They get all their inspiration from the Holy Spirit. I can tell you, I can count numbers of Christian movies I've seen in, in this year, in this month. Trust me, there are movies that, that actually edified my soul. I thought you can learn moral lessons, you can learn spiritual lessons. In fact, you can learn physical lessons. So why are you not watching this? So like I was saying, they actually help to edify our our souls. So please do want to watch Christian and the past message. You might be you might have been praying to God for something for a very long time and it's not really matter. But watching or seeing a Christian that actually change your directive of prayer. Now remember I saw a movie early no early last late last month. I saw a Christian movie and trust me, just changed my mindset about how I was thinking as a Christian. He made me see Bible from another angle. I don't know. It made me see Bible from another angle. It made me see praying from another angle. I just thought, wow, because a Christian is As a brother, you can do that. That's what we do. It's not just for the fun of it, just for the fun. Trust me, you will love the Christian movies too. Oh, but we pick good lessons. Like, to be gospel movies are wealth. It's to actually meet the status of our social norms, our ethical norms. Tell me a Christian movie that you see. It's really going to be and it's going to be fun. So please, I am enjoying you this afternoon, this morning, and this evening. That you should please make sure you you make it an habit. I'm not saying what make it an habit. It cockets it in your lifetime by watching or seeing them. It might be weekly. Okay, let me mention. I've seen about 
part here. If the part already one, the one, the part already one, the 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 one, the